What Coach Wayman started from the beginning was just the culture, which is our motto. It's on the back of our shirts. It's just a culture of excellence. It's a culture of community. And, and that kind of feeds into ultimately a, a winning culture. I think it just goes back to accountability. We all hold each other to going hard on every rep. Every single practice means just as much as every game. It's getting better every day. Once practice starts, it's like it's game time. You're not sitting there goofing around talking. You're you're locked in for the practice, and so that's really what makes the difference here. It's, you know, the coaches push you to be your best. Your captains really push you to be your best, and ultimately, you need your teammates to push you to be your best as well. The Lambert culture, just to break it down, is winning. We've never had uh, a losing season in our history, and we go out there every day just to make sure that we come out on top. Here, we have a winning mindset. When I do mention that I go to Lambert High School, everybody's like, the lacrosse team is like top notch over there. All I can do is nod and agree with them. Every year it's a new start, fresh start, new players. We lost a bunch of seniors last year and then we're just trying to do it ourselves with this senior class and with a bunch of sophomores stepping up and sophomores and juniors. Our goal was to get back in May, back to Denmark at the end of the season, but also to get prove every single day. It's day by day. We have a young team and so we just knew we had to take it day by day. The goal was to do it all again and start over from the beginning and make the first three-peat in labor history. Start of the year, we always uh, look to May, and always we want to be the last team standing. So, win another state championship. Lambert, as a program, has never repeated before, so we want to be the first ever team to repeat. We're just going day by day. Uh, we have to go day by day, and we're really breaking it down to ha let's have a good practice. Let's have a great practice today, and then we'll deal with tomorrow. Um, so really, we're just trying to break it down and go day to day, and uh, you know, see where we are at the end. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't want a three-peat, I just want to win one in a row. And then when we add them together, we'll see where we're at. It's hard to do, it's hard to, to win one. It's hard to win two over multiple years. So uh, uh, again, I, I think if we can you know, give it everything we have, you know, we'll be satisfied and, and you know, we, can, we can go from there. And, and we see where the chips fall. I love going to other schools and just knowing when we show up in red and Lambert on our chest that they fear us and it makes me quite excited to play people. I'm Chris Harper, I'm a midfield for Lambert and my number is 11. I just remember standing on the field after winning it last year and just thinking about what, what we would do between that moment and the moment that we're coming up very quickly on, so this type of opportunity doesn't come all the time and it's one that you can't take for granted. Here you gotta work for your field time, you gotta work for everything that, that you think you deserve. Us as coaches, we tell you what you need to do to you know, to get to the promised land, I would say, you know, is to get to where you want to be. Is, you know, is, is just asking us coaches and we telling you what you can improve in and, and the kids go out there and do it. And that's what makes this program so good. I coached a varsity team, I coached a JV team, and I coached a seventh grade team. So, you know, I'm on the field six, six hours every day with these kids, but that's why these kids are so good because you have coaches like Coach Lewis who's, 
you know, a Hall of Fame coach coaching, you know, seventh grade kids, eighth grade kids and stuff like that on his off time from what we do here at Lambert High School. There was a lot of doubt in Lambert this year because we are very young. I think we only have eight or nine seniors this year and we have a lot of sophomores and, and juniors who are putting a lot of minutes in for us and stepping up and doing a really good role for us. So I think that's a really um, good thing about this 2023 team. From freshmen to sophomores to juniors to seniors, all putting in good minutes. I think that's what's gonna really take us to you know the state championships. They trust us that we'll get it done on the field and when it comes to it, we'll fight until the final whistle. So I think that's what it really comes down to. It's definitely an honor. You go through the four years, you see the captains as the, the leaders on the team. And it's an honor to be chosen as one of them by my teammates. And the, uh, the coaches definitely hold us accountable to that role this year. Everything truly is earned. Nothing is given. The opportunity to be in two state championships so far and an opportunity to fight for the third is the best thing that I could ask for the program. And, you know, the friendships and the relationships and the skills that I've learned are something that I'll never forget. Just dedication to this program is bar none, especially the parents, the community take this program very seriously. You've got coaches that wake up at 5 a.m. watching film, sending out you know feedback immediately in the morning. We have us, we meet after the games and talk about everything. So it's just a dedication to program trying to prove uh, each day. Just don't take anything for granted. It's tough when you have a big dart on your back and everyone's looking at you like you're the, we're going to take you down. Every team does this their best effort every single time. Just realize that you got to take it day by day and realize that you got to give it all every single day uh, to be able to make it to the state championship in May. With the name Lambert on our front of our jerseys, we know we have a target on our back every year, so we gotta defend it every year. For me personally, it's the ones that didn't go our way that I think about the most. I think that kind of ignites a fire in all of our heart, and like I said, the first region loss, that doesn't sit right with us, and I think we just need to come back from that. We kind of noticed that there's things that needed to be changed, things that could have been done differently, and we just, we work off of that. After our tough loss to West, we really banded together and took a step back to look at ourselves and went out there and put it on Buford the way that the Lambert should. The 2023 team has an opportunity, and it's been talked about earlier, to three-peat. There, there's pressure on these kids, and what I think is pretty unique about this team, what impresses me most about this team, is they're really unfazed. They're just going to deal with tomorrow. You know, they'll deal with today, and then they're going to, you know, they'll deal with tomorrow. So I, that's a quality I love about this team. Rick kind of had a game plan going into the game. We were executing in the first half a little bit, but then we really were able to execute it in the second half. Um, got some good goalie play the whole game with Noah and Matthew. Middies were doing a great job. We're getting back in the hole. Um, just playing as a team. That was the biggest thing. We really started to play as a team in the second half a little more. First steps getting a region championship. It's a whole season. It's not just one or two games. So it's always next game up. And Buford was the next game up. And so came out here. These guys were fired up. Uh, we got spring break next week. So keep working every day, right? We want practices to be the hardest part of our season, right? We really want to battle at practice and stuff like that. So we're able to battle and we're able to get after it. That's what we want these guys doing. Practice in, practice out. Playing for May. That's all it's about. We need to keep feeding off the energy that we've had, I guess, these past two games and just keep going off of that. Really, what it comes down to is if you want to win. If you don't want to win, then, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to get through this. Give it as 100%. And if your 100% is, you know, you're dying at the end of practice, well, so be it. Nothing else matters but this moment and that we got to go out there and do everything we can to come out on top.
play this game to have fun. Don't play it for, for someone else. Don't play it because someone told you to, right? Play it because you find it enjoyable. Um, and to coaches, it would be keep pushing. You know, really push your players. It's really what's making us so good throughout our past 12 years of being open. Again, truly, truly trust the process, trust the coaches, and especially trust the teammates that are next to you because those are the guys that you're going to be taking on the 48 minutes on the field. And if you don't have confidence in the guy next to you, then you're not going to be able to do anything for yourself, you know. I love lacrosse. All four years, I made some great friendships, and I'm never going to forget it. They've really pushed me to my best abilities. I just hope they continue with the next generations. I think these guys are enjoying the journey. Um, it's a lot of hard work to play for uh, Lambert. So I, I would just like to thank them. Thank them for their time, for their commitment, um, and their dedication, and really everything they've offered. It's definitely just the people around you. You're built into a, a better person day by day with the coaches, the teammates, etc. It's like a big family. I know they say it every year, but it goes by quick. Don't take it for granted and just enjoy yourself.